Okay. I have tonight an interesting whiskey, which I bought online from Alberta, but I could have probably got it just a bit cheaper had I waited for the premium spirits release like three days later. But I saw it advertised online and it was so easy to just click on it, so I clicked on it. This one here is a 22-year-old Pike Creek Canadian whiskey finished in PX sherry casks. 750 mils, 45% ABV, and like I said, 22 years old. I have had, well, first of all, let me pour a, a dram of this, and then I'll talk about it. Talk about my experiences with Pike Creek in the past. Okay, get this plastic thing off. Yeah, I got a little bit of a <clears throat> something a couple days ago, and so my nose is running a little bit. Sometimes I sneeze. I have the occasional cough. My voice is a little bit hoarse, and I think I have a bit of a fever, but I'm not feeling too bad. I think it's getting better and drying up. I think I'm going to have another glass of uh, Neo Citron later on. But the whiskey isn't hurting. It's, if anything, it's helping to uh, um, to clean, or should we say, uh, disinfect my throat. Oh, that's tight cork. Oh, it's a real one, too. Okay. Yeah, this would have been part of the uh, Premium Spirits release for British Columbia. And uh, now, let's see. Uh, I have had, in the past, I've had, my first Pike Creek was about, oh, six years ago and that was a 10 year old rum finish canadian whiskey the next one i had was a 21 year old Speyside single malt cask finish and uh, then there was a 21 year old european oak cask finish uh, and then the last one was another 21 year old canadian whiskey finished in oloroso sherry casks and this one is in px almost predictably, but it's a year older than the other one. Now, I did mention that I got this online, and I bought it from Craft Sellers, and it was $99.99. So that, you know, it's a little bit much, but it is 22-year-old whiskey, so, you know, that doesn't usually come cheap. So, uh, 104.99. That's that's including the GST now, goods and services tax, and the price. It's 104.99, and then for shipping, it was 40.21. So, what 13.40, something like that. 13.40 and another 5.57. So 13. 40 and 1340 and let's say $15 grand total that's not right Ninety nine, ninety nine plus five plus fifteen Why is this calculator I think there's something wrong with it. Okay, ninety nine, ninety nine. Plus 
five plus That's more like it. One nineteen ninety nine. So one hundred twenty dollars. Still one hundred twenty dollars for twenty two year old whiskey. It's pretty good. Okay, let's go back to the uh, iMovie here where I am, and uh, it's itchy too. Give this a wee sniff. 45% alcohol by volume. I think that's about how strong um, this stuff usually is. And sheeting action and droplets. Trails of droplets, some of them quite large on the sides of the glass. Mmm. Yes. It has that sweet smell of Pedro Jimenez. However, the sweetness in the Pedro is not overpowering. I'm still getting Canadian whiskey through here. I'm getting some corn notes. And then the sweetness on top of that. So I think we've got it balanced between the corn sweetness and the sherry sweetness. What else does it say on here? Now, Pedro Jimenez, 22 year old select oak aged Canadian whiskey, finished in Pedro Jimenez seasoned sherry casks, resulting in a rich and well rounded whiskey. This whiskey brings together Pike Creek's signature smooth style with hints of Raisin, fig, and spices drawn from the Pedro Jimenez sherry casks. Limited bottle number 1,346. Of how many? I don't know. It doesn't say. Return for refund where applicable and won't get pregnant from it. 750 mils and 45% ABV. I think I said that already. All right. Usually Pike Creek makes a very nice whiskey. Then they've got the barrel finishes. You know, it was almost inevitable that they do a Pedro Jimenez. I'd like to see them do a Malaga or like Sauterne or something like that. That would be nice. Of course, I'm a really big Sauterne fan. Smells good. A little bit of husk, corn husks. A little bit of Pedro Jimenez. Sweet. Raisins, yes. Figs, dates, yes. Bit of prune, maybe. And then there's the Canadian whiskey. I don't know how much rye is in this. I'm not getting much of a rye note on the nose. And again, my sniffer could be a little bit um, compromised because of the little sniffle I came down with a couple nights ago and the coughing and all that other stuff. Yeah. nice nice on the nose let's see what it does on the palate mm. on the palate I'm definitely getting The corn sweetness of Canadian whiskey, 
along with quite a bit of a coconut note. A coconut note, which is probably a mixture of the figs and dates and Oloroso and all that stuff. And it's it's got some creamy vanilla underneath all that. Not all at all. So Pedro Jimenez, it's got a lot of a um, lot of vanilla underneath the Pedro Jimenez, which is covering it up. What I would like is to try a sample of this without the Pedro Jimenez, next to the one with the Pedro Jimenez, side by side. But I don't think they make 22-year-old Pike Creek without some kind of cast finish like that. It's nice. It's pleasant. It's very well balanced between the influence of the Pedro Jimenez with the fruits, the 45% ABV, the vanilla that's coming from the Canadian whiskey from the probably used uh, ex-bourbon barrels that they could have been ex-bourbon barrels that have given up a lot already so they could have been you know second fill third fill because they're giving some but the sherry does cover up whatever you'd be getting from those casks of canadian whiskey yet yeah, you get a little bit of corn not too much in the way of rye i'm not getting much of a rye influence but um it's very well balanced If you've enjoyed other Pike Creek um, examples before, different expressions of Pike Creek, this one should be also quite enjoyable. Along with the sweetness, of the Pedro Jimenez, it's a little bit sharp. Maybe the sharpness is from the 45% ABV. But I'm thinking that with a bit of time, with a little bit of time in an open bottle, the sharpness is going to round out a little bit. And it won't be quite so, so sharp as it is right now. It does say some, something about well-rounded on the label. Well, I think it needs to settle down a little bit before it reaches its peak. Because right now, the Pedro Jimenez just wants to come out, come out and fight. Not that it's a bad thing. Whiskey changes a lot after you've opened it and tried that first pour. It can change amazingly a lot. I, not too long ago, tried a Forty Creek, the Forty Creek, uh, the new one, Master's Cut, I think it was called. And it's just rough, rough and, and yeah. but you know, just a week or two later, I tried it again, and a lot of that roughness had changed. And it became, instead of rough, it was quite creamy. And much improved. So I will have to go back to that Forty Creek Masters cut and try it again after it's been opened a little bit.
This one I think will mellow with time as well and become more well-rounded and more easy to drink. But 45% is just about the right ABV for a whiskey like this. It's even getting better and a little bit less sharp as it reacts with the air and as I become more accustomed to it. Yes, this will be interesting to revisit as well. Meanwhile, I am enjoying this more as I go along. It gets better and it's getting better. And it's been open for what, 15 minutes now. And you know, they say, give it a minute for every year of age. Yeah, but I don't like to wait 20 minutes or 22 minutes to try my whiskey after I've poured it. I like uh, to pour and play. But um, this is getting better. I don't think I wasted my money on this. Pike Creek is usually a good whiskey. And I can't wait to see how it changes over the next few months. Cheers. Food quick. 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 Food quick.